Hello, it's me, Lego like 12, and welcome to a set review. And it's been a long time since I've done one. And today I'm going to be reviewing Iron Man vs. the Mandarin The Ultimate Showdown. It is from the new Iron Man 3 series, and it is Marvel Superheroes. So let's go on and get started on the minifigures. So, first off here, we have Iron Man. And um, as you can tell, he's still got his blue little uh, hovering things. I didn't actually get the older set, but my friend did. If you want to see that one, which had this one in. Well, not the same one, but you know what I mean. Check out his channel. It is Lego Siblings, which I also, which I also do videos on. Um, he has now got a different coloured chest plate. It's still the same red as the old one. If, if I do get it, I'll review it and do a comparison. He has a golden thing instead, into a circle. And if you look carefully under his chin, it's slightly more of a silver. And his eyes are now blue instead of the white that they were originally. And if I take off the helmet, there's his face. It reminds me of Jack Sparrow. And there's his back face and his back printing. Uh, there's his legs printing, so you can see him. And yes, these two pieces do come off. They're just normal cylinder bricks. Not too special anymore. And the other minifigure we get, which I'm really disappointed with, is the Mandarin himself. Now, I thought he was going to have some sort of rings. Um, I have not actually seen the film, but I do recognise him from the comic. I had a comic and it was had him in it. He didn't have a gun, but it doesn't look like him. Um, there's a second face. His other face does have a smile. It doesn't really have a smile, it's just a uh, normal grumpy old face. Um, he does have a little, he does have a bit of front printing, but this beard is a pain to get off. Wait, there. see, I just took off this. Oh, <laughs> there's his face, it's just beard, just... Okay. He does have Bruce Wayne's hair, or I don't know what kind of hair this is, it's Lucius Malfoy or whatever. He has a strange green trousers, and I thought he was going to have a cape. And like I said, a ring. And still, you win some, you lose some. And so, I think, I think they're gun bullets, or whatever. So, uh, let's get moving on to the set. I'll turn this around so you can have a look at the back features, or what's on the back, as I'm reviewing the thing. So here we have the actual machine thing that the Mandarin has. I uh, have to keep doing that so I can see it. It is all right. It's 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 worth the money. I have to admit, it is good. It's a good box actually. Stay up your back prop. So here it is. And you get two of these, so you can use it in customs. Um, I can you can position this down. And these are flick files, flick, flick file, flick files, flick file. There you go. It's just a normal orange one. Um, I don't know what this thing is, but the uh, Mandarin sits in here, and uh, <laughs> you can stick his gun on the side here. Turn it upside down. Um. It's all right. I, I believe the piece which is this is sitting on is a new piece. There's the under of the actual car. It's pretty simple, really. It's kind of disappointing, but still, it's a good set. Um, it's got two exclusive minifigures because I believe this Iron Man is, is exclusive to this set, and uh, this Mandarin is exclusive to this set as well. So if you want to have him, there you go. Cheaper set to get the Mandarin. The only set to get the Mandarin. And, um, yeah, if you don't have the other Avengers, like I don't, and you want to have Iron Man, this is the best set to get him in. And I believe it's the coolest Iron Man out of all of them. I, th I think it's the best one. But I am going to be getting some other sets, and I do want to get the one with War Machine in, so you look out for that. But that's this set today. Um, did I say the number? 76008. It's 6 to 12. And this is Iron Man, the versus the Mandarin, the ultimate showdown. See you soon, guys.